Good morning, it's Friday. It's, I wanted to say the 15th of November, but I think it might be the 16th. <laughs> anyway, it's the middle of November and it's a Friday. And I thought I would attempt a day in the life video today. Although, I might abandon it halfway through, we shall see. This is the current view from my office. We have a large plastic sheet here. We are currently on, this is day five of week five of Constant Builders. As you can see, we have scaffolding along the front of the house. That is because all of these windows are coming out on Tuesday, all the way along here, and new floor to ceiling windows are being put in. Um, this is coming off today, the front bit of the house effectively, right back to that chipboard stuff, um, is coming off today. Um, Ashley is even staying at home to supervise that because it's quite a crucial part. New windows are coming on Tuesday, so we've got from now till Tuesday with the front of the house open, that'll be nice. And if I show you this, you'll think it's all not too bad. But um, <laughs> the beams have been covered up, the ceilings have been replastered, the ceiling here has been plastered flat. We've got two decorators coming in today and a builder and Ashley, and possibly a plumber and a plasterer because there's a few bits of pla this pl wall here still needs plastering. And, and there's another bit oh, over there as well still needs plastering. Um, I'll show you again, this again in an hour when they've got it all covered up. And they've been covered all that up out there because that's where they mix the plaster. And yes, it's trying and wearing, I think is fair to say. And yeah, although this looks fine at the moment, the dust, I can't tell you, they do clear up every night. We make them clear up and hoover and everything every night because otherwise it would just be unbearable. But um, yeah, that's what we look like in here. So I'm probably gonna sneak off to, I don't know, to somewhere at some point today. But first of all, it's coming, they're coming at eight o'clock this morning, I think they said, and I am going to quickly whiz through my emails and start a video, oh god, a video that I um, exported last night needs uploading so I'm going to start that uploading, whiz through my emails and then go and get ready for the day in terms of putting my face on and doing something with my horrible hair. that's slightly better I've just put a little bit of I don't want to wash my hair I should wash my hair today I generally do it every two to three days this is day this is I washed god I can't speak I washed it the day before yesterday so normally I would wash it today but we're going away for the night tomorrow with friends to Dorchester um so I want to wash it tomorrow really so I just put a little bit of water through the ends just to remove some of the frizz and make it go a little bit curly. So just gonna let that dry. Getting on for nine o'clock now, I think, and I haven't fully decided yet what I want to do today. Um, I could do with doing some eBay listing because I'm away for two nights. We're going to Dorchester tomorrow for a night with friends and then we're going from there on Sunday onwards to my parents just overnight for one night. I need to take my dad shopping for my mum's Christmas presents. I do that every year with him. Um, I don't know if, um, you guys know he has dementia i've mentioned it on here before but um not talked about it at great length but um yeah so i've got to take him shopping and ashley's going to help them with some paperwork i think ashley's coming with me it depends on whether the taking off of the front of the house goes okay today <laughs> otherwise ashley might have to come back for monday to work here so the plan is at the moment that ashley is coming with me which reminds me i must ring my mum tonight to tell her whether Ashley's coming or not, because apparently my mum's cook is a Sunday roast, but if Ashley <laughs> is coming, we get roast beef, and if I'm going, we get chicken. It's because I like chicken and Ashley likes beef, so. And then we're back for a couple of days, and then we're going up to Bath for a couple of days. I don't know why I booked that. We, want, we wanted to go up to Bath to spend a couple, or see William, but as it's turned out with the filming from the BBC, we saw him last weekend, and he's got to come back another weekend, the following weekend, so it's all, all a bit pointless, but I've booked train tickets and I've prepaid the um, Premier Inn, so um, we're going, but I could honestly do without it in terms of the amount of time I have available and the amount of stuff I need to get done. But I'm sure we'll have a lovely time, it would be nice anyway, but um, yeah, I was a bit over-enthusiastic with booking trips. <laughs> anyway, so back to today, 
Um, I think I'm going to pop out this morning. The sun's out this morning, so it'd be nice to go and get a little bit of fresh air and uh, might do a bit of sourcing, go to a couple of charity shops. Um, I could do with popping into the supermarket and getting a couple of bits. I must get a new box of tissues in my bedroom. I thought, you know when you finish a box of tissues, I really thought I had a spare one in the cupboard and apparently I don't, unless someone's taken it and not told me. Um, so yeah, oh I know what I've got to show you. Also I've got to film a couple of videos today. Um, I've got a try on haul for uh, Chinese clothing and I um, thought I had another one but I can't remember what it is. But um, if you saw my last ASOS evening dress haul, the yellow dress, I discovered that I'd actually ordered in a 22 for some reason rather than a 20 so I reordered it in a 20 which is sized down and I've got to try that on today, that arrived yesterday and I also got, I've been trying on a lot of coats, I tried, I saw a barber coat that I really liked, a quilted one for um, going away next month because um, I need a really nice winter or need really warm winter coat and um, the barber one had the review said it wasn't um, waterproof so I got this one from Marks and Spencers which is waterproof it's got a hood with a furry thing I'll put it on in a minute and show so this is my new winter coat um, I love the hood with the fur around it that was one thing I really wanted the barber one I found had a um, hood with fur around it and I really I feel like that dresses it up a little bit more from being just an anorak type of thing and I ended up going for a 24 in this the 20 fitted but I thought if I want to wear a chunky jumper underneath and be comfortable I'd rather have something with a bit more space so I ended up going for the 24 which um I feel is possibly a little bit on the big side but um, I think that's quite sensible because I don't know how cold it's going to be in New York and layering is always good or the option to layer is always good isn't it? I'd rather it was a little bit big than a little bit on the small side. So yeah I'm pleased with it. I'm also pleased with the colour. It came in like an aquamarine blue as well. Um, I might have gone for navy if there was a navy but there wasn't a navy. It was only this or an aquamarine blue so I decided to go for this. I will link it in the description box below actually because it's a really nice useful coat and um, it was £99, I think, which I didn't think was too bad. And it's lightweight, which is the other thing that I really like about it. It doesn't feel heavy on. I wanted something that felt fairly light but was warm. And it's got something called thermo warmth or something in it. So, rather hot in the house with the heating on, with my coat on. I'll take it off and come back to you. <laughs> It's actually per una. I didn't realise that when I um, tried it on. But um, I tried it on in store and then ended up ordering online because they didn't have the right size and the colour that I wanted. But um, yeah, it's got this thermo warmth, which is warmth without weight, which is really good. And it was, as I said, £99, which I thought wasn't bad for a sort of long winter coat, really. I um, haven't bought an expensive winter coat for years and years and years. So... Um, I think the last winter coat I got was from Wallace and was about 30 quid in the sale but uh, it was several years ago in London with my mum but anyway yes that's my new coat right I think what I'm going to do is go and find 20 items that I can list today and then I'm going to pop out and about so I will take you with me well it's now quarter to 12 I've been to town I've wandered around pretty aimlessly truth be told because I just didn't want to be in the house. I'm having a bit of a meltdown today over builders. Really am. I came back, I got five draft listings done and did a bit of, um, dealt with some emails and sorted out some other stuff, some sites I got bookmarked for various things and dealt with those. Um, entered the water meter reading. It's all exciting stuff here, isn't it? And, um, now they have pulled down the plastic sheet between my office and the rest of the house because they need to plaster the top of the wall inside my office which was plastered once before but had to be unplastered for some reason which I can't even remember what it was now um, and it's too cold and too noisy to sit in my office and there's a plasterer in it and oh god I can't keep my mind straight when there's all this stuff going on today's going to be the last of the really bad days in terms of numbers of people here but this has been the worst job apart from doing a kitchen two houses ago 
that I've had to live through. I've five weeks, I'm just at the end of my tether with it, honestly. I don't want to moan on about it, I really don't, but I've come to sit in my bedroom because literally there's nowhere else in the house that's warm and I mean, I'm lucky that my bedroom's, you know, got two doors in between here and the rest of the house and I can just secrete myself away in here. Anyway, I can't do anything at my desk, I can't do any more eBay work and I've hardly sold anything on eBay for a couple of days anyway. It's been very, very, very quiet. So... I suppose on the plus side there's not loads of packaging to do so that's good so i am going to film a video in here a try on video that i need to do and then possibly edit that on my laptop in here um in the nice quiet and warm and then it will probably be lunchtime and i'll probably warm up a tin of soup because I can't really get in the kitchen because builders mm. <laughs> Can you, this is why I haven't been filming day in the life videos. I mean, I just literally spent half my life being angry about builders and the other half locked away in my bedroom. It's not exciting, is it? I did buy a few bits from the charity shops while I was out. Again, I can't really get my head into sourcing properly. I just, sorry, I've got an itchy nose. I just don't want to bring a whole load of stuff into the house because there's no all the other rooms that aren't the lounge and the dining room are full of stuff from the lounge and the dining room everything feels chaotic and even christmas shopping i haven't even really been able to make a start on christmas shopping because i can't face again bringing stuff in where there's nowhere to put anything and yeah i'm just moaning now aren't i anyway oh i just will just show you this i pulled this out of my stock i bought it recently and was going to list it this morning and i thought it's a cardigan from yours clothing oh i can't add, there's nowhere to hang it that i can show it to you properly but it's sort of a big black and white stripy long line slouchy cardigan it was four pounds seventy in a charity shop and i can't decide whether i like it or not let me put it on for you and um, see what you think i've just finished filming my kokomi haul which didn't go that well there were size issues with a lot of the clothes one dress was nice but um, the rest not so much so I thought I'd just very quickly try on this yellow dress from ASOS, which I ordered in the size down. Um, I can show you, ignore the camisole that's peeking through there. Um, I can't really decide if I think it's any better or not, but I have noticed that this frill is sewn to the main body of the dress. Let me just see, yeah. I could undo that so the frill sat downwards. I could undo those stitches. I think that might be better. So the frill just sits almost like a tiny peplum style rather than being attached here because it just feels a bit fussy like that. And I feel like if I undid the stitches, it would sit better because I love the sleeves on this. I think the sleeves are gorgeous and I love the length. And I like the floatiness of the skirt and I love the colour so there's a lot of stuff I do love about it I think I'm going to keep it and try that with the frill it's 25 to 3 <laughs> building situation is worse the floor is now up and the front of the wall is off just in front of my office it's so cold honestly it's one of the coldest days of the year so i've been working for about 20 minutes at my desk and then coming back in here to get warm again i've got hot chocolate which i'm about halfway down which is very nice and warming i've got myself a slimming world high fiber a chocolate orange one um which i'm going to eat in a minute oh honestly it's not easy what I really want to do is crawl into bed and ignore the world. But I think we might go down to Weatherspoons and meet a couple of the guys from Ashley's office and a couple of other friends later on. Um, they're having a Friday night drink. So we might go and do that if building work is finished at a sensible hour tonight, which I'm hoping it will be. The decorators will certainly go promptly because they started at 8 this morning, so um, they'll be off by 4, I'm sure. Um, 
Anyway, I'm gonna have a break to warm up, my warming up break. I have managed to film my Kokomi fashion video and um, I've just edited that and I'm uploading it now, which is good. And I've done all the bits and pieces for that, so a thumbnail and what have you, so I'm gonna schedule that when I go back into the office for my next stint of freezing cold work. Haven't got as much listing done as I hoped to get today. I really wanted to get 20 drafts done, but I'm reticent, reticent, is that the right word? Reticent to take clothes, any more clothes than are already in there because of the filth and dust, because I really don't want to get stuff really dirty. So that's, it sounds like an excuse really, doesn't it? But it is a genuine thing really. So what I might do is to, I've got one wardrobe that really desperately needs tidying out. And I'd like to do a yours clothing little shop for a couple of nice, just sort of everyday tunic type tops to wear on holiday, just to refresh my wardrobe a little because um, I've got a couple of sort of, you know, lightweight type jumper tops. I've got a couple of thick jumpers that are fine, but I would like a couple of sort of layering tunic type tops. I've sold quite a lot of my clothes recently. Um, so I think I need to replace a couple of bits in my wardrobe. So that's what I might do. I shall see. Anyway, back to my hot chocolate and my hi-fi bar. Something that I've had a real problem with since we've had the builders and all the dust has been my eyes get so sore and itchy. And I've been using these Opti... This is not sponsored or anything. I've been using Optichrome eye drops, which are brilliant. They're not on prescription or anything. You can just buy them over the counter at Boots from the pharmacy counter. And they've just saved my eyes. I've, they're, honestly, they're so itchy and um, just irritated by the constant dust. So, yeah. Recommend Optocrum. Good morning. It's a lot later now than when I started this video. It's now, what day is it? Wednesday, almost a week. So much for a day in the life. <laughs> I can't remember. I haven't uploaded the footage from when I was vlogging last week yet. So I can't remember where I'd got to and at what point I abandoned the day in the life. But I seem to think it was builders and I was stuck in the bedroom and um, not, <laughs> not having a brilliant day. However, we're still alive. So let me fill you in on what's been going on since then. Excuse me. Um, so Friday night, no, Saturday, we went up to Dorchester with some friends. We always have a Christmas night away or an outing with them. And we did it a little bit earlier this year because obviously we're away for a lot of December. Um, had a really nice time in Dorchester, had a lovely meal out. And then Sunday after breakfast, we drove from Dorchester to my parents um, near Bournemouth. Um, we spent a night with them. The reason we went there was because I had to take my dad's, my dad Christmas shopping for my mum's Christmas presents because he's got dementia and is it, I may, may have said all this, so apologies if I'm repeating myself here. Um, so I did that on Sunday and then I did some charity shopping on the Monday morning, actually helped my parents with some paperwork and then we whizzed back for the builders because there was work to be done before the new windows went in. The new windows arrived yesterday. Massive hole made in the side of the house, removal of all the old windows, whereupon we discovered that the new windows have been manufactured the wrong size, all five of them. A great big six inch gap at the bottom. So that wasn't great. Um, luckily the company have admitted responsibility and are coming today to remeasure for a third time. And the windows will have to be manufactured again. Um, I can't imagine that it will be able to be done this side of Christmas, particularly with us going away. So yeah, yesterday wasn't a great day. Ashley has managed to nail some 4 by 2 bits of wood along the bottom of the gap, so the house is at least watertight-ish. Um, I think the new windows will look lovely when they're the right size and they're in, but oh my god, we just didn't need that. I have to say, this has been a really trying last third of the year it's been from the moment i lost my passport and we couldn't go on holiday and then we had two dead weeks when we should have been away then we went away and then everything after that has been compressed into this tiny little space of or this amount of time that is not enough for it the work on the lounge has been much more problematic and 
difficult and um, taken way longer than we expected. It's been really stressful. We're now heading towards the end of week six of builders. Um, we're going up to, also added into this, we've had the filming for the BBC, which has been, again, a small timetable, um, small amount of time able to do it because um, of going away in December and their filming deadlines. So that's been another stress. And all the time with all of this stuff going on, trying to keep work and YouTube going. And I think it's fair to say, I feel very, very, Frazzled. Sorry to moan so much, but I think it's quite important to keep it real because I get quite a lot of comments. Saying, My hair's looking particularly special today, isn't it? Um, I get quite a lot of comments saying, "Oh, you get so much done, and you're so good, and you, 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 an inspiration in terms of get," which is lovely, and I'm really grateful. But I think it's important to show you the reality of stuff as well. That you know, the times of being frazzled and stuff not going so well, and. Um, yeah, just lots going on really. So I do feel and look tired, stressed, frazzled, not great. And I've committed to several YouTube videos that I need to get up before we go away or at least get filmed and ready before we go away, which I probably shouldn't have done, but it's difficult when you get opportunities and you want to do stuff, isn't it? It's all, it's all just feeling like a bit of an uphill struggle. And we've also shoehorned in stupidly in view of everything that's happened in the meantime and um, we stupidly shoehorned in a two-day trip to Bath to see William because we thought we wouldn't have seen when we booked it we thought we wouldn't have seen him all term and we wanted to see him because we're going away when he breaks up um, you know before he comes home for Christmas we wanted to catch up with him so we booked that in as it turned out he was home the other weekend for filming and is home again the weekend after next for filming before we go away so we don't actually need to see him, but it's all booked and paid for. But I got a really good deal on the Premier Inn, 100 quid for, less than 100 quid for two nights. So that was good. But yeah, everything's just feeling very frazzled and feeling uphill struggling at the moment. I'm not going to lie about it. <laughs> um, also to add into the mix, my dad's dementia is getting an awful lot worse. I don't talk about that an awful lot on here, but um, it's felt like really, I was talking to my brother last night and my mum and um, while I was down in Bournemouth and it definitely feels, it's been noticeable the last few months how much worse he's got. His short term memory is really, really short. Um, oh, parking space, the, it's gone up the curb, but the gods of parking spaces have been kind to me. That's nice, isn't it? So yeah, there's that as well. And I've had, you know, it's, it's very worrying. Who knows what the future holds or what the plans are, but we'll, we'll get through it obviously as a family, but it's just yet another stress to add into the mix. And, you know, an almost grieving process dealing with seeing that happen and yeah let, let's draw a line under that anyway um oh god this has been a great long moan hasn't it anyway i've just driven into town as i've been speaking to you and i am going to go to drop two parcels off a couple of sales i had on my personal account over the weekend that i haven't managed to post yet goodness knows why and um I'm also going to one of the charity shops that has a one pound rail every Wednesday, so I'm off to um, have a little mooch around that. It's about half past one. And for the first time for six weeks, I'm in the house by myself during the day with no builders, no plumbers, no plasterers, no decorators, no electricians, no window fitters, just me. It's so let me show you the new windows. They've got to be, the um, fitter has been this morning to, or the measurer, I don't know, they have so many people at these com this company. Um, the guy's been to re-measure for the crack windows. So the actual problem is that down here at the bottom, there is actually a big four or five inch gap. Um, this has been covered up temporarily with a four by two, as you can see. Um, but, and they're remaking the windows and Ashley's told them they've got to be in by the end of this month, November, so we shall see. But 
I'm not counting my chickens. I'm assuming at the moment that we will be without um, correct windows um, until after Christmas, but hey ho. If they, the thing being, if they don't do it, sorry, I've got lack of focus there. If they don't do it by the end of this month, we're then going away and obviously we're not gonna have them do it while we're not here. Um, anyway, all that apart, really pleased with the floor to ceiling windows I'm absolutely loving how they look i was i was quite ambivalent about it i wasn't that bothered about changing the windows but i think it's also from the outside it looks amazing i think it's really given the room that sort of modern look that um that it was kind of lacking beforehand so absolutely loving it and that goes down to my office excuse the echoey footsteps into my office there you see um i'm loving this i can just see like a chair and a big pot plant there and yeah despite the fact the windows are the wrong size and have to be changed again i think i can see that it's going to look amazing once it's done anyway back to today yes i'm by myself it's about i think i don't know if i've said it's about half past one i've just finished um so i've got an itchy nose um uploading some listings and um i'm going to have some lunch i popped to tesco's this morning and i bought exciting times lentil and bacon covent garden soup which is yummy and i'm gonna have that with a couple of slices of toast and I'm going to sit down and watch the first episode of the new season of The Crown without any builders in my house. No noise, no dust. Well, quite a lot of dust. But, um, yeah, no builders. How lovely. Anyway, I'm now going to sign off this vlog. I don't know how long it's been, but um, I should probably just add that you are probably still seeing, we'll see some content into December. Um, I'm pre-filming quite a lot, so I'm going to keep the videos going up on a Wednesday and Sunday for as long as I have videos for. Not sure how many that will be, but um, so yeah, I will keep content going on Wednesdays and Sundays as long as I can, um, but I'm not going to be doing anything until else until after I come back from holiday in mid-December. So, and I will do lots of content while I'm on holiday, obviously, because I know you're all interested to see what it's like and um, very excited about it, obviously. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.